Fortnite events are at an all-time peak right now, with over three events per week guaranteeing thousands of dollars in prizes. Competitive Fortnite is undoubtedly on the rise, even after the World Cup's finale. Epic Games have promised weeks of ongoing Fortnite competitive events, which will test players and their teamwork in many different game types. In this video today, we're going to be looking at three specific players. These players are Mongrel, Benji Fishy, and Mitro. Not only are these three some of the best overall Fortnite players in the world, but they also happen to be incredibly good at playing together and dominating other teams. Mitro being the world record holder for most kills in a solo squad game, and Mongrel for being one of the most mechanically efficient players is nothing to undermine. Benji Fishy also being a great competitive player with many placements as well as qualifying in the World Cup makes this trio deadly. But what truly makes them a great trio rather than just three of the best players in the world fighting alongside of each other? Well, as the old saying goes, teamwork makes the dream work, and teamwork is undoubtedly something that these three players have. Being some of the best players in the world can oftentimes make it easy for them to stray apart due to their confidence in themselves, but this trio is absolutely dominant when it comes to playing together, and we're going to be taking a look at that in just a few seconds here. But before we get started, Pro Guides has a small announcement to make. We are adding a ton of new features to our site, exclusive guide and analysis videos for our pro members. Also, Pro Pass now grants access to all games. We also have more free coaching passes and points for Instapro if you're a pro member, so head on over to Pro Guides by clicking the link in the description below. Starting off with the trio's game during a competitive match, we can clearly see something about their gameplay that is a core aspect of the trio's format. These players know precisely how to play in close quarters. Many players tend to fumble and make mistakes when playing alongside teammates in short distances, and these can cause issues like editing and resetting walls, or lack of proper synchronization. Listening into their comms, we can clearly hear them making callouts to each other and planning who they're going to be targeting. I'm gonna edit. I'm, I'm standing on site. Let, let, let. We see Benji Fishy and Mongrel lasering a single opponent until the enemy flees. Now, what they do next is very interesting. Pay attention to how Benji Fishy stays back while Mongrel pushes up. Most players would move together with their teammates without letting the distance increase. But what Benji Fishy is doing is keeping a close eye on every side Mongrel could be attacked from. This essentially uses Mongrel's rotation as bait. How many times have you been in a situation where you're rotating and end up getting lasered or jumped on? This trio completely eliminates that issue by using this baiting method. Now, this may not seem like much, but rotations are one of the most critical aspects of Fortnite competitive, especially in those end games. Paying attention to their surroundings, we see that these three players have found an opponent taking cover under their base. We see them almost instantly all switching focus and targeting one single person. Pay attention to how they fan around the opponent. One person lasers with the scar, one pickaxes walls, and the third circles around and finds a flank to attack from. Encircling opponents and shooting at them from different angles can usually make long fights the most natural kills in the game. And these players know precisely what they're doing when it comes to that. Notice how they enclose on the opponent once they've assumed positions from different angles. Benji Fishy starts moving closer while Mitro breaks through and jumps down onto the level their opponent is on. Closing the distance while outnumbering people is crucial for cleaning up kills as fast as possible. Now the circle moves and these players are focusing on their next rotation. We see them do something extraordinary here. Benji Fishy launch pads into the storm and builds up. Why does he do this? Well, if we take a look at the area they're in, we see that Benji is launching into an area of natural high ground where he can connect his builds to. From this point, he can start cranking 90s and go for height, which will be much more rewarding for them as they near the end game. Having the high ground is a vital aspect of Fortnite endgames where everyone is running and gunning. Staying on top and picking people off is the easiest way to get guaranteed kills without taking any damage in return. Now obviously when playing during events like these, you're going to run into some skilled players. That's why as soon as Benji Fishy's team goes for the high ground, they instantly start getting targeted and shot at. Due to this, they take a brief moment to hold walls and make sure they don't take damage. While waiting for the right moment, they also analyze their surroundings to see where other opponents are located. Benji spots one on his right side who is attempting to take the high ground while he and his team deal with the other players. He quickly reacts by taking out a shockwave grenade and using it to launch himself up and over those opponents. While in the air, he takes quick and accurate shots to make sure that the opponent is playing defensive rather than trying to laser Benji. As he lands, he quickly builds up and is now the high ground holder of the match. As soon as Benji assumes his high ground, his teammates use his power position as leverage to get themselves to the same area. 
Benji having height means that he can laser opponents at angles, which makes it very hard for him to get shot back, giving his teammates cover as they build up and once again join each other in the fight. We also see Benji building quite frantically to make sure that none of his building pieces get shot out. This maintains his high ground and keeps him above players while they waste their ammo and stay standing while the storm is moving. Thanks to Benji's smart play, he and his teammates were all able to achieve the high ground and are now successfully in the best position possible to finish off this match. Being at the high ground, we see them do exactly what they should be doing, being patient and keeping their eyes peeled for opportunities to get picks and smooth rotation kills. Another essential aspect of having high ground is making sure that no one else can regain it. This is why Benji's teammates are carrying rocket launchers, as these weapons are insanely useful for destroying builds and dealing splash damage. Seeing all these pieces come together, we can see that these players have planned out this match from the beginning. Collecting weapons like the rocket launcher and utility items like the shockwave sets them up for a perfect endgame. Remember that being successful in the endgame has a lot to do with your resources. Do you have good weapons? Do you have useful mobility items? Do you have the right materials? And so on and so on. These players have done a great job of making sure they have everything that they will need before challenging and taking height. Now, as we see players start moving in towards the next zone, Mongrel, Benji, and Mitro can be seen lasering and rocketing a trio. We see them doing this quite aggressively and with purpose. So what is this purpose? Knowing that those opponents were going to challenge them for high ground, this trio is now aware they must deal with that team as soon as possible. This is because most smart players wouldn't challenge for high ground unless they had the right resources, meaning that this trio could be a problem for them. By targeting them off of their rotation, they can do easy damage and make the opponent's lives much harder to preserve. Now that the storm has started moving, we see many players launch padding and moving towards the center circle. Storms where the circle moves a significant distance are usually where we will begin to see a majority of players getting eliminated and sent back to the lobby. So it's essential for this trio to survive this stage of their endgame and make the best of it. Now, although becoming lower on materials, we still see the trio maintaining high ground and bridging over to the next circle. Many players at this point may have shockwaved or used launch pads to preserve materials or get a faster rotation. But them using their materials guarantees they keep the high ground and also creates a stable, connected environment for them to stand on while they do so. Now, you're probably wondering, what if they get shot down? Looking at the player count, we can see that there are 44 players alive and Storm Surge is coming in hot alongside the fast-moving zones. All these variables, plus the continuous fighting that most players are in, will decrease the chances of opponents targeting to shoot down the players at height. Many competitors tend to ignore the opponents at the high ground because they have so much to deal with and their chances of being damaged are very high while they're spraying builds. Now, we start to see that Benji is becoming more aggressive. He sees the peak of high ground on the other side of the map and is also the holder of five shockwaves. He uses these to fly through the air and onto the next area of high ground. We once again see Benji spraying his combat at players to make sure he doesn't get shot in return. This causes players to play defensively and lay back instead of lasering naturally. Benji instantly starts going for the high ground while running into another player. Now, remember that this trio has excellent teamwork, and within no time, we see Mongrel and Mitro flying in as well to join Benji on his new position. Now that their trio has gained a good amount of materials, we see them building across to the next circle instead of using their shockwaves. While doing so, they also encounter some opponents which they all target together. One thing that really stands out about these players is their ability to always play off of one another, rather than playing for themselves. It's what truly makes them such a strong force to reckon with in team game modes like trios. Now that we're in the end game, we see that their trio has the absolute high ground with no one to contest them. Them having this ability to keep high ground without too much competition has pretty much sealed the deal for them in terms of this game. Not only do they have great weapons, but they also have shockwaves and healable items left over. By this point in the game, most players will be drive materials, healing items, and movement items, making the low ground the only place that they can play in. Now that we approach the final moments of the game, we see these three players start to fan out and seek those final kills. Pay attention to how Mongrel goes low, while Benji and Micho remain at height watching Mongrel's sides closely, once again incorporating the baiting tactic. As Mongrel rotates, he comes back up to his teammates and they focus in on the final opponents together. With only one or two players remaining and excellent health from all three, there is only one simple coordinated push in their way from that victory royale. And knowing how skilled these players are, we can pretty much guess that they will earn it. And sure enough, they do, as they all surround the final player and take him out with ease. To summarize this deadly trio, we should take a look at their ability to work together flawlessly as they use bait tactics and genius moves to outsmart their opponents. They also capitalize a lot on high ground, and it is truly what earns them such easy wins against the many great players that they face. 
Alright guys, that's it for today. As always, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it and throw all your thoughts and comments down below. We really appreciate all the support and we will see you guys in the next one.